This is not a dribble to the paint. This is a pound it to the paint. It's an early defense of Aaliyah Edwards, the rookie. They're getting inside. This is a blow. Clark showing off the vision. Boston, the quartet of Clark Mitchell, Boston and Smith all playing well. Piece of the paint gets to the middle of the floor and then good attack of the close. Mets their largest lead. Or dishes it to Wallace in the fever. Back ahead by seven. This call comes from the opposite side. Can't help off the strong side corner if you're... See Mitchell and Caitlin Clark, a couple of notable injuries for the Mystics. Towards the bottom of the league in those categories. And for the first time for Chicago, as Clark gets inside and has the first two points of the night. I love it. We've had a couple wins against the Sky this year. As Samuelson from the corner. It's time for them, having won two in a row, and there's a turnover that leads to an easy bucket on the... That's a big difference for the Fever. Then you're not playing in transition all the time. Here's Wallace from the corner. Comes up with the steal. So working on Atkin. Back inside to Boston. Going inside against Edwards. And a lead. And Deladon taking the 2024 season. There is Ariel Atkins, the leading scorer in Washington. She's going to be good for six to eight points every night out because of her defense. Samuels, the shot clock down to seven. Mitchell, good hands. The homestand, 91 points in each of their two wins. As Smith goes right up the middle and fit the night. Carly Samuels, an extra pass here is Edwards. Knocking it down from the middle with some injury troubles. Here's Smith back on the attack, draws the foul. See, Mitchell was hitting shots. Well, it's going to take all five starters and five. Smith trending in the right direction. She's been in double figures in six of her last seven. Can bump handoff from Dolson. Extra pass corner three. Van Lu shot transition. It's Clark finding Boston. He's working on Mitchell. Drops it for Dolson. This is on a back on June 7th. An offensive foul will negate the deep. He was the only one back there for Indiana as Clark whips it inside. Boston gives help. Good rotation here by Indiana. Van Lu way strong. Clark kick out Wallace. A Two and then making a read. Carly Sanderson's had a couple of Zero for five. Mitchell on the blow by gets to the rim. Good help but a foul. Remember she missed training camp. Her first with last year. And now a word from IndianaWorkers.com. Mitchell, one of two from the line. Here's Atkins on the other end. Can't get the three. Collision with Edwards. Could have been a foul, too. Clark, step back. Atkins right down the middle and draws the save basketball. She's been known as one of the best perimeter defenders in the league the last. Mitchell off the pass from Clark. Mitchell finishes. I mean, it's so quick with her acceleration. Four of Indiana's five starters have scored. Clark on the hesitation. Clark with a big shot. Pass. And it's Carly Samuelson late. Smith spinning inside over Hines Allen. Shot two. Got a lot of strength in that matchup with Lexi Hull, but you see her battling for position. He's able to bat it away. He stay. No longer in Washington as Clark feeds it to Boston. Oh, she. Samuelson gets inside, kick out, Atkins misses on a... Here's Hole on the drive, aggressive take, the drive gets inside, hangs and finishes. Really nice drag screen by Dolson. Hole corner three, that one rims team. Lid on the rim from distance here so far for both of them. So just trying to force the pace, pull up three, Mitchell knocks it down. That pass. Atkins bouncing here for a rolling Dolson who spins into traffic. Or in transition. Samuelson off balance, tosses. Sabalis, right? Degumakes. Here is Katie Lou. Right on cue. Big Melbourne who's checked in for her first minutes gets inside. Lost the handle, picked it back up. Just another terrific crowd at Gamebridge Fieldhouse as Walker Kimbrough hit team. So. Wheeler pulls up, not too strong. Edwards left wide open. She can't connect there. Decides to battle with Boston inside as Boston turns. Shot off the mark. Show up on the stat sheet. I mean, she just got a rebound there, but she was a really good cutter. Very on seven to tie the game. Extra pass. Wheeler wide open and gets the front. 
Melvin. Back for Carly Samuelson, a deep three. Really like playing her sister for that exact reason. As Hole gets inside and the reverse. Kimbrough the bounce pass, Heinz Allen, she's got strength. Walker Kimbrough gets inside, off balance shot won't. And about seven minutes per game here for Eric Tebow as Wheeler turns on the jet, hand in there, Edwards to the deck. Smith reaches in, and it's a... Mark trying to train just 40% from the field, one of nine from three. These are numbers that Christie sides from Clark. Backing in, tough look, Gann draws the... And here, Boston has six, Mitchell has six, Smith has all playing well after a strong performance on Sunday as Atkins gets into traffic and a Washington alive offensively. And there by C. Hole. Clark on the drive, left it short so far. Melvin on the drive, blocked by Wallace. Wheeler bounces inside for Smith and draws another foul. Sometimes see so many fans donning the 20. I, mean, I don't know when you start measuring that, but if, if. Frequenting all sorts of businesses and establishments around the area. Mystics in the way and the Mystics playing a lot better as of late as Walker Kimbrough away. Wallace shot clock down to three. Will she get it off? In the deep corner when that happens. Indiana a little bit late reacting on the weak side. Eric Tebow to play a couple of possessions of zone. Indiana. And Lou using that Engsler screen. Engsler extra pass. Samuelson corner three. Bonnie, who's now an eye doctor. Bonnie played at Stanford for Tara Vandiver. Who taught him how to shoot the hip? Austin turns the corner. Gets by. Kitty Lou says. Van Lou misses a three. She Five different teams in the WNBA. Hopes this is a landing spot. Hit a three in the first quarter, the Mystics. Clark way downtown. Knocks down a Clark from the blind side. The steal and a bucket. And they watch the roof blow off this building. And she is part of the reason why they're up five zip on this run because she hits the three. For six from the perimeter here in the second quarter. Smith gets free underneath and won't miss. Specialty here this year. Atkins way outside. Shot. Mitchell steps back and buries a three. Samuelson back door again and Carly Samuelson. Mitchell back on the attack, gets inside. Mitchell lays it in. Vienna's matched their largest lead and Dolson quickly put. Clark there for a moment, couldn't get it to her and instead it's an offensive foul. Talk keys for the second half. Stay with us here when we break in. Dolson extra pass. Samuelson open in the corner. Had to shot fake. Smith on the help. Lead. I mean, I don't think Carly Samuelson's come out of the game. Seven point lead evaporates in mere moments. Clark back inside for Boston. Boston, who was off to that strong start. She's now got nine. Find her. He said, Belgium. We've been watching because of Emma Miesemann. They've been watching Belgium. No Belgian talent with Julie Aleman back in the level season. Van Lu working on Wallace. Van Lu on the drive. Wallace sticks with her. Edwards comes down with it, leaves it. Ended in this position. Van Lu sidesteps Clark and misses on a three. Dolson. Edwards, that's a deep two and a tough shot. Contest. Boston kick outside to Smith. She will launch and miss on a three ball. Back for Dolson has a major size advantage on Clark. Leaves the Smith will try it again. Same spot, same results. There's Atkins on the drive. Wallace stays with her, and Atkins banks it home. Smith's just four shots here tonight. Boston battling inside. Oh, there's a certain cadence that they're playing with. Three ball that were probably ill advised by Coach Sides out of the gate. Atkins misses on the all-time leader for assists per game. Brings four bodies with her. And Wallace draws the foul. His record. Here's Clark going through the legs. Bouncing for Boston. Draws the foul. 6-5. Skilled. 
through the night. And when Boston is playing like this, Dolson left open again and hits another three. He is 8 of 10 from the three-point line this year. Mitchell, catch and shoot, answers. This has been a homestand about getting Boston and Mitchell back on track. Edwards, a 65% free throw shooter. Not a 4.1 assists over six seasons. Made an all-star game. As Clark goes behind the back, that time it's stolen away. Good hands by Van Lewis. She'll loft it up. And Edwards. He's already in really rarefied air. He sticks with her. Out to Wallace, who's left alone. Wallace can't hit the three. No whistle there. Van Lewis thought she was fouled. Here's Clark off to the races. Ahead for Wallace. Perfect. Six rebounds and three assists. To go alive right now, Clark, with the step back deep two, money. Well, that takes great lead. Washington's answered back every time. Dolson did a big part of that. And with the Wallace on the drive, gets inside, muscles her way, and draws the it allows Christy Wallace some driving range. There he is, but her shot. You kind of see that look right there on her face. She does knock down the second. She's doing a really good job in ball screen coverage. She's getting better at that too. I can step back. It's so Dolson gets into foul trouble, and all of a sudden, Washington's front court. Uh, July. That's the next Fever home game, yeah. July 6th. Seems like it's a while away at Vegas. Coming up next. Samuelson spot. I think it's the story of their season, minus their injuries, right? They just hang around, hang around. Those single-digit losses early in the season. Brittany Sykes comes. Point in the so the fever as the entire WNBA will, but you'll get Edwards spinning. Boston sends it back. Edwards gets the rebound. To be one of them, the sixth overall pick in 2024. Just one of six. So Satori Walker Kimbro to the line for two. Misses on the special and more online. Feverteamstore.com. While supplies last, you do not. It's a little too deep, and Atkins Fowler and Washington. Lived here at the line in the third quarter. Well, we talked about them getting to the free throw line more. The right? effort has been there. Hines Allen, a straightaway three off the mark. Brings the ball up the floor. Mitchell going behind the back, putting on the moves. And... Get back, get back, get back. Katie Lou in the slot. Clark just missed. Nice in ball screens, trying to keep the ball on the same side of the floor. Has had. There's Boston teeing up a three. You bet. Atkins, the other direction, draws the foul. Their job well in that possession. Washington has three centers. One is injured, and two are on the bench right now. Right, working her way into a double team and draws the foul. Well, Washington has just been happening either way. That's free throw attempt. And 13. Walker Kimbrough creates some space, leaves it short. Samuelson back door. Wheeler cut off nicely there by Angsler. Key Boston finds Mitchell, who is wide open. It's been on the drive. Gives it back for Hines Allen, who couldn't get a shot off. That was a super looking to take their first double digit lead on the night. Fans on their. Beats and easy too. That's how Washington quickly gets themselves back in it. Back for Inksler. It's inside and Inksler lays it in. And off Clark. She will launch. And this somehow trouble. Busting the fake. Busting the finish. She's Eastern Conference Player of the Week as Dolson on the other end misses on a career. And off Mitchell pulls up from the foul line. Hangs off balance, got it to go. Just a little trip. Third quarter. Keep an eye on that matchup. They're really battling in there. It's been very physical. Physical. In the post, uh, rebounding and screening action. Where else do you. Got it knocked away. Good hands there by. Keep an eye on her. Clark back for Wheeler. Sets up Samuelson wide open. Misses on a three. In transition. Banks it in and a foul. And what a surge. Hitzler hits the free throw.
Faltrow will put Indiana in the bonus early because they were so physical. Oh, Wheeler, that's a tough thing. Back outside, good ball movement. Samuelson maybe won too many passes in Indy. Cross court, Mitchell's open. Mitchell on the attack, gets inside and lays it in. Foley, Christy Wallace, yeah. Jay Melvin too. <laughs> There's some Australia influence. Boston had it knocked away. Well, this is crunch time. So many games come down to these opportunities right here. Wheeler off balance, but... Atkins on the attack, just bullies her way inside. It's too much. Wheeler, Clark, launches, hits a three. Shot clock down to five, and Lou from way outside. Three ball won't fall. He's waiting for Boston. She's got it. Sees the double, bounces it into Boston. Cadence. Smith gets inside, fades, and can't finish. And on the other end, a big shot from Atkins. Mitchell, catch and shoot, answers with a three. The three-point line. Dolson, that three won't fall, rebound Boston. Doesn't get the whistle. Sees two, corner for Wheeler, shot fake, finds some space, and Wheeler connects. They're knocking at the door, Indiana's gone up double digits, Atkins draws the foul. A lane for Atkins. A rare miss free. Zanslow driving on. Boston makes it with the left hand. She'll go to the foul line. Rios, they held on to win against Washington. They held on for a couple tight. That's a big four point possession. Timeout by Indiana. Beaver in a good spot. They've been Three critical stops that you have been getting in those late game situations. Shot clock down to five. Wheeler on the drive gets inside. Difficult shot. <laughs> Really good, four assists as well. Dolson wide open and answers with a three. Corner triple by Dolson. He's hit nine threes are in the air. Boston extra feed. Wheeler's open and hit with the three to close out the three-game homestand. Mitchell on the attack and the shot will fall. Lead back to eight. Anksler back on the attack using the reverse. Shot too strong. Get it into Smith, who had it stripped. Van Lue with the save and back for Atkins. Turnover, Washington can't make him pay with a three. Anksler, though, with the offensive rebound. Sacks asking the official to wipe up the floor right there. Inside to Clark. I think they were trying to foul Wheeler. Austin hits. Just five on the shot clock. If Samuel with the mark. Clark with the rebound. That was a big miss. Indiana with a five point. 91 percent free throw shooter. And it's an unsuccessful challenge. That'll be Katie Lou Samuelson right into Clark. Terrific inbound pass there. And Clark will just wait to be fouled. Is coming. Not tonight, but 16, 12, and six. Make that seven. Well, she had just tied Brianna Stewart as a rookie for 15 way through the season here. Atkins launches, misses. We Indiana Fever have won four straight at home. NBA star mocks Cheryl Swoop's comments on Caitlin Clark. New Orleans Pelicans guard DeJount Murray couldn't resist poking fun at the notion that Indiana Fever star Caitlin Clark isn't dominating. For anyone questioning whether Clark had an outstanding rookie season in the WNBA, they need only look at the record she shattered. Murray, clearly amused by this debate, had something to say about it. The 2022 NBA All-Star left a comment on a Bleacher Report Instagram post that listed many of the records Clark broke this season. Murray wrote, she's not dominating, followed by a string of laughing emojis. This was a direct jab at recent remarks made by women's basketball legend Cheryl Swoops on Gills Arena. Swoops had bluntly refused to call Clark's rookie season dominant, marking the latest instance in what seems to be a pattern of downplaying Clark's achievements. However, most of us who have seen Clark in action know how dynamic she is on the court. The record books paint an even clearer picture, with Clark breaking nearly every rookie record imaginable. But her accomplishments didn't stop there, she also set the record for the most assists in a single WNBA season, regardless of position, and scored more points than any point guard before her. Her combined averages of points and assists have never been matched, making Clark responsible for more total points than any other player. That's what real dominance looks like, which is why Murray's playful comment hit the mark. It's becoming increasingly apparent that Swoops may never give Clark the credit she deserves, leading to some lighthearted mocking along the way. Regardless, Caitlin Clark's dominance is undeniable, and for anyone still in doubt, the record books speak for themselves.